ناؤ وی کم ٹو دی نیکسٹ سورا سورت القحف ناؤ پلیز نوٹ دیز ٹو سورا سورا بنی اسرائیل اینڈ سورا کہف آر اے ویری بیوٹیفل ایگزامپل آف اے ویری بیوٹیفل پیئر آف سورا نمبر ون دے آر ایبسولیوٹلی ایکول ان سائز ٹویلو سیکشنس آف سورت بنی اسرائیل ٹویلو سیکشنس آف سورت کہف آیات ان بنی اسرائیل ہنڈریڈ اینڈ الیون ان کہف ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹین اونلی ڈفرینس آف ون آیا دین بنی اسرائیل اسٹارٹیڈ وتھ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ اسرا بہ من المسجد الحرام المسجد الاقسا دس از اسٹارٹنگ الحمد اللہ اللہ انزل اعلیٰ عبد الکتاب ولم یج اللہ عوجا دس تصویح تحمید دے آر جوائنٹ ٹوگیدر اکارڈنگ ٹو اے حدیث دی پروفٹ سیٹ التصویح و نصف المیزان و الحمد للہ تم لاؤ یو نو دی اسکیل آف دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ ہاف ول بی فل بائی تصویح اینڈ تکبیر ول فل اٹ سو تصویح اینڈ تکبیر سورہ بنی اسرائیل اسٹارٹنگ وتھ تصویح سبحان اللہ اسراب عبد من المسجد الحراب المسجد الاقسا اینڈ سورت کہف الحمد للہ نیکسٹ تھنگ یو مسٹ نوٹ دیٹ دی لاسٹ آیا سورہ بنی اسرائیل از قل الحمد للہ اینڈ ہیئر دی نیکسٹ سورا از بگننگ الحمد للہ ایز اف دی کمانڈ وچ واز دیئر ان دی لاسٹ آیا ایکٹیولی اینڈ ایکچولی اٹ از بینگ اوبیڈ ہیئر الحمد للہ تو آئی ٹول یو دیٹ ان دی سینٹر آف بوتھ دیز سوراز دیر از دی اسٹوری آف آف ابلیس اینڈ آدم دی آیات ان دی بگننگ آف دی سکس سیکشن آف دس سورا آیات ان دی بگننگ آف دی سکس سیکشن آف بنی اسرائیل وائس کولنا الملائے کا تصور آدم آف سجد اللہ ابلیس سو دیز آر دی سملیرٹیز بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ اللہ انزل اعلیٰ عبد الکتاب ولم یج اللہ عوجہ All praise belongs to Allah who has sent down on his bondsman Abd. Here could be Rasulahi. But Allah prefers the word Abd. This is higher level for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam than Rasul. We think Risadat is higher than Abdiyat. No, no, no. In Abdiyat, you face your Lord. In Risalah, You are facing the people to whom you are talking. So actually, Abd is a higher status than Risala. Abdiyat. In the same way we found in Surah Bani Israel. Subhan al-lazhi asrabe abdihi layla min al-masjid al-haram il al-masjid al-aqsa. Not Rasulihi. Alhamdulillahi al-lazhi anzala ala abdihi al-kitab wa alam yajallahu e wajah. Also in Surah Al-Furqan. تبارک اللہ نظر الفرقان اعلیٰ عبد ہی لے یقون عالمین نصیر سو آل پریز بلانگس ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہو ایز سینڈ ڈاؤن آن ہز بانڈس مین آن ہز سرونٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم الکتاب دس بک ولم یج اللہ عوجا اینڈ ہی ایز پلیسڈ نو ڈسٹارشن ان دس بک اٹس اے ویری پلین بک ویری کلیئر بک کتاب مبین قیمن اسٹریٹ Absolutely straight. Le yunzira ba'asan shadeedam min ladun ho. So that he warn of a very big war which will come from your Lord. Now ba'asa and ba'as here has been translated as a big punishment also. But in Quran we find when this word is used in as a plural ba'asa, there can be any type, type of turmoil. Hunger, famine, etc., etc., drought, all these are ba'asa. But when it is singular ba'as, heen al-ba'as, ba'as means war. So actually, the prophecies of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam regarding al-malhamatul uzma, a very big war which is going to be fought. And we find this also in the Christian tradition. You might have heard, Armageddon. Armageddon is coming. Now the Christians say it's coming. It's very near. And if you consult a dictionary about this word, you will find a very big war which will be fought between the e- forces of evil and good before the end of this world. This is the dictionary meaning of Armageddon. So in the Revelations, the last book of New Testament is Revelation. 
of St. John. And in the prophecies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there is mention of a very big war. So that he warns people of a very big war. Why you bashir al mu'minin and you bashir al mu'minin and he should give the glad tidings to the believers. Allazina yamaluna salihat. Who not only believe, also do good deeds. Anna lahum ajran hasana. For them will be a very beautiful, very goodly reward. Ma kisina fihi abada. And they will abide in it forever, forever. Wa yunzir allazina qalu tahadu allahu walada. And he should warn those people who have said that Allah has taken a son. Now this is the mention of Christians. You know, who at this time are controlling this globe. Who are they? Christians. And Jews are controlling the Christians. But Christians are controlling the whole world. But actually Christians, you know, they are the big powers. This America, Europe, everything, everywhere. Then, you know, in the East also. The Philippines, oh, who? Christians. And now Temur divided. And, you know, half of it is now in a Roman Catholic state, country. In Africa, Christians. They are not allowing the Muslims in Nigeria to establish the Sharia law. Many thousand Muslims were massacred. Why? Because they wanted to establish the law of Sharia in the Nigeria. A Muslim majority country. But they don't let it do it. So this is what is happening now. And what is going to be, there is a prophecy of the Prophet. Armies from 80 countries, Christian countries, will come and invade Middle East. And each under each you know, flag, there will be 12,000 people. So, if you multiply by 12, the 80, 80,000, and 12,000 and 80, what it comes to? About a million people will be there. Nearly one third of the million were there in the Gulf War also. Now, whole this NATO, it is being harnessed afresh, new, strengthened and expanded. What for? For whom? There is no threat. They say there is a threat from the Muslim fundamentalists. Anyhow. And he should warn those who have said that Allah has taken for himself a son. They don't have any knowledge of it. Nor their, their elder fathers, forefathers had any knowledge. Very grievous is the word that is coming out of their mouths. Very insulting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are not saying except what is it? It's a lie, a big lie. So, Muhammad, maybe that you kill yourself in grief over the consequences that are going to take place. The consequences of this, you know, dogma of Trinity, this accepting Hazrat Masih as son of God. So, begotten son of God, begotten. So actually, they say he is the begotten, the only begotten son of God. Now the doom that is going to come to them, maybe that due to the grief, you may perish. If they don't come to believe in this, this Quran. We have made whatever is on this earth. An adornment for it. These skyscrapers of Manhattan, these high-rise buildings, these big bridges, these highways, these gardens, these, you know, parks, what are they? They are like ornaments. Just as a woman, she uses ornaments. This, this, these are the ornaments for this world, for this earth. Inna jalna maada lardi zinat Allah. It's an adornment for them. Le yablo wahum, le nablo wahum ayyuhum ahsanu amala. So that we should try and test them. Who among them are the doers of the good deeds? What does it mean? This world is very beautiful. Allah is the most beautiful. Now you love either this world or Allah. This is the test. 
if you love this world, you have failed. If you love Allah, live here, use it, but don't love it. Live in this world, use it, but don't love it. Your love should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the crux of the matter. And we are definitely going to make all that is on it, on the earth, a barren soil. When this hour will come, everything will perish. These skyscrapers, nothing. The whole earth will become a plain thing without any mountains. Mountains will also disappear. There will be la evaja, wala amta. No height, no depths. It will all be a single plain earth. And on that, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then will come down. And all the malaika will come down. And then, you know, the hell will be brought before their eyes. So all these things are going to happen.